Today is a, a big day, a uh, big day for our community, a big day for our school districts, and so we're really excited to have you here at SeaTech. I'm Jonathan Delano, the director here at SeaTech High School. It's humbling to have a project like this come to SeaTech and, and for us to have the opportunity to partner with Duncan and CART and Fresno State because you know, this isn't, this is, these aren't projects that we see every day on our campus. Um, but it's an opportunity that we can't pass up either. So we're just excited to be a part of it and know that the partnership will be a great opportunity for our kids to really engage with other students and other, other schools with skills and, and really develop something pretty neat. The Tryon group came to our school a couple of months ago, uh, just sort of visiting the area, seeing if they wanted to come to Fresno to do any operations here. Um, and I was selected as part of a group of about 15 students and staff to get, go in our back room and hear about the company. And most recently, I was just recruited as part of the project to see what we can do. I'm excited to get the experience of working on uh, a project at this scale. So far, we've only uh, made things that we've designed ourselves, made on basic 3D printers and laser cutters, working with higher end um, like components, working with huge, like larger machinery and more complicated assemblies is going to be quite an experience. My name is Levon Melkonian. Uh, I'm a junior here at SeaTech. I'm in the manufacturing pathway. Uh, as part of this project, I'm going to be working on the CAD, the computer design uh, of the car, and designing the components that we need. My name is Brian Emerson, and I'm an instructor of advanced manufacturing and engineering at SeaTech High School. So, uh, Mr. Richard Patterson and I have been talking for about a month uh, since his visit earlier this year uh, about the project that we would be embarking on and considering working with uh, all the schools here in the valley. Uh, so we've been talking about lots of different projects that I uh, can't go into detail about, but uh, we're very excited to uh, start working on with some other schools here in town. Welcome to this exciting event as we debut a new project partnership between a couple of different entities. First, Career Technical Education Charter High School, where we are today, the Center for Advanced Research and Technology, CART, and Fresno State with some business partners of ours that selected our community, Tryon Superstars Group. We are incredibly grateful to Tryon Supercars for choosing our county to launch this project. Welcome to the Tryon team who are over here, Tommy Bruno, Kai Fair, and Quinton Dodson. Students can gain a holistic understanding of real world challenges and an understanding as well and a development of critical thinking skills that are essential to their success in school and in life. I got to speak with Mr. Patterson. He um, really inspired me to lead teams, to be a leader, to kind of work for yourself but work for other people as well. Um, he taught me like a little bit about engineering design and I was really inspired by what he had to say. Um, and it really led me to want to be on this project and do more for him. It's really exciting, the opportunities that can happen from this. I'm Shaylin Dostelik, I'm a sophomore here at SeaTech High School, and I'm going to be working on CAD and engineering on the car, so um, CADing it out and building and designing it. We are so very grateful that you've chosen to be a part of the future of education in Fresno County and make this opportunity available to our students. I just want to share some light on Mr. Richard Patterson himself. You're, we're, we're talking about a guy that's been designing cars since he was 14, 15 years old. A lot of the things that we're still using today, the, the stowaway seat in the caravan that folds into the floor, he designed that. Uh, the C5 Corvette, just a lot of things um, from the Tesla, the Model S, to the Model X with the butterfly doors. All these little things that you see that's in our everyday uh, life are things that Richard designed like it's nothing. This school is by far one of the best um, in technology and teaching the kids um, pretty much how to be adults before, you know, getting out of high school. When Richard told me about this program, I'm like, you know, okay, um, there's a lot of schools that teach as well. So, upon me visiting the school and actually seeing what they're teaching these kids, um, this really, really, really advanced. Some of the welding and some of the techniques that are being trained here, um, some of my guys that, are, that I work with, you know, much older adults, they can't do it. They don't know how to do it. You know, there's only so much that you can do. 
Leaving this course, these kids are very, very advanced on the welding, and I would hire them um, yeah, and be able to train them with no problem at all. So before we get into more questions or anything like that, let's just review with Carl. Richard Patterson, as you know, is the CEO and engineer and the designer of this car. Um, he did it all on his own. The first sketch was on a napkin, mm -hmm. um, and from that he started building the the buck, which is which, what you see behind us. So the development side, as far as the technology and the CAD that's going into it, all that's done by Richard. The influence behind the design was the SR-71, um, the military plane. The, the inspiration behind it, you know, was that as well. So there's a couple of versions to this car. There's the RR, which is a race ready, and then there's the Black Ops. The Black Ops has everything. Mm -hmm. The power, the bigger motor, you know, all the fancy stuff, you know, all the technology is stuffed into the Black Ops car. Rich's mind thinks different. The design in the Black Ops is where his creativity comes from. There's, there's a drone that motorizes out of the top of the car. The glass slides back. Um, the drone can chase and follow. Um, the car has a technology that memorizes uh, road wear. Mm -hmm. So where there's big potholes in the road, the car will, will remember where that pothole is and it will adjust either suspension or the actual driving to either steer you around it safely or stiffen up the suspension to where you don't hardly feel that bump. For trying to come into Fresno and not just pick SeaTech, right? But to pick SeaTech, pick SeaTech, pick Duncan, Cart, Fresno State, and to say, you know what? I want to work with all of these individuals because they see the value in all of those schools and see the value of bringing people together to work. That's unique, right? That is a whole different experience. And you know, I'm looking forward to just seeing our kids partner with all of these other schools as well, because we learn from each other. Every day is an aspect of, I've got to learn from you and you've got to learn from me. And our kids need to understand what that looks like. For, so for Tryon to see that and to understand that and to know that that's the next step for their company is to be able to take the skills from all over places and put them together, it's a big deal. Taking high school kids, getting them into college and getting them focused to that area that leads them into being engineers for Tryon as well.